Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I will tell you about making a universal coupling in AutoCAD 3D. So the universal coupling is used to couple two non-collinear and non-parallel shafts together. And I'll start this drawing in the 3D modeling workspace. So here you can see that I'm in the 3D modeling workspace. And if you're not in this workspace, then switch to 3D modeling using this gear icon. So you can switch to 3D modeling from here. Now, once you are in 3D modeling, start with the box tool. So here on the modeling panel, you'll see this box tool. Now, click anywhere in the drawing area and that will start the box tool. And now type at and then the length of this box. So the length will be 170 units and then the width, which is 90 and then the height, which is 30 and then press enter. So now we have this cuboid shape. So click on this home icon and that will show the shape here. All right, now move to this plane, which is the left plane. So using this view cube, click on this left and the plane will be visible. Now go to coordinates and change the view. So from here, click on this and change the view to this view icon. Now go to this line tool and click on this midpoint. Make sure that this midpoint is active. Now move upwards and enter a height of 44 unit. And now press enter. Now press enter again to exit this command and click on this circle tool. Now click on this endpoint and make a circle with a radius of 15 unit and press enter. Now press enter again to repeat the command. Click on the same center point and make another circle with the radius of 38 unit and press enter. All right, so there we have it. Now we need to join the quadrant of this circle with this endpoint. For that, I'll select this line tool and I'll click on this endpoint and now press and hold the shift key and then right click and now select this tangent option. And here it is, the tangent option. Now click on this tangent point, which will be very close to the quadrant of this circle. Now repeat this process for this side as well. So I'll click on this end point, press and hold the shift key, right click, select tangent, click on this tangent. Now we can erase this part. It's no longer required. And also go to this trim tool and trim this part. It's also not required. Now, join the endpoints of these two lines. So I'll go to line tool, click on this endpoint, join it with this endpoint. All right, now orbit the drawing. So there we have it. We have this geometry here. Now select it all, type J and press enter. So that will join it into a single unit. Now we need to extrude it. So I'll select the extrude tool and click on this object and extrude it. So I'll extrude it to a distance of 30 units. So I'll type minus 30 because it's extruding in the negative of Z direction. As you can see that the Z direction is pointing in opposite side. So we need to enter the negative sign here. Now press enter and there we have it. Now you can make a mirror image of this object as well. So select it. Now from the modify panel, select this 3D mirror tool. Now you need to specify three points and those three points will be these points, the midpoint here, the midpoint here and the midpoint here. Now simply press enter to make the mirror image and there we have it. Now go to extrude tool once again, select the circle, press enter and now extrude it in this direction. Just make sure that it passes this object completely. Now go to the subtract tool and select this object and this object. Press enter and then select this subtracting geometry and press enter again. And we have grooves in both of these objects. Now rotate this drawing completely and go to this left and just rotate it to 90 degrees and there we have it. We are in the back view. Now we'll make the circle here on this plane, but before doing that, we need to change the view. So once again, go to coordinates and click on this view option. So always make sure 
that before making any drawing you change this view and after changing the view you'll see this x y coordinate so as long as this x y coordinate system is visible you'll be able to make the drawings but if for some reasons you are not able to make the drawing that simply mean you are not in this x y plane and you need to change the view so here we have the view now go to this circle tool now we need to make circle exactly at the center of this rectangle so i'll go to this midpoint and i'll track it now i'll go to this midpoint and i'll track it once again and there we have it so i've tracked another point and we found the midpoint or the center point so simply click here and now make the circle so i'll make the circle with a radius of 45 units and press enter now click on the same center point again and this time make another circle with the radius of 25 unit and press enter now select this rectangle and make a random rectangle on this side here so i'll take reference of this center and I'll make it off this random size. All right, now make a mirror image of this one. So I'll select it and I'll expand the modify panel, select the mirror tool. Now click on the center and then this point and press enter. Now go to trim, press enter again and trim these two parts. These are no longer required and join it into a single unit. Now I'll move it upwards. So let's use move tool and let's move it here. All right, now let's trim this portion. So I'll go to trim, press enter, trim this part, trim this part as well, and trim these two portions. There we have it, we have this key way prepared. Now let's click on this home icon and let's see where our geometry is. So right now our geometry is on this top plane and we need to move it on the plane which is on the downward side. So I'll select these complete geometries. So I'll make a selection window. I'll select this one as well. Click on this move tool, click this center point, move it downwards. Now make sure that this Z axis is visible while moving this object and then enter a distance of 30 unit and press enter. Now it's on the bottom side of this 3D geometry. All right, so now we can use press pull tool in this case. So I'll go to press pull, select the area, and now enter a height of 56, press enter. There we have it. So we have this geometry here. So one of the geometry is complete. So in order to see this quite clearly, you can change the visual style. Right now it is 2D wireframe. That's why it's not properly visible. So from this view panel, you can click on this drop down and change it to shades of gray or any other visual style if you want. So I'll keep it at shades of gray. That will give a clear indication of the boundaries as well as the 3D shape. Now we'll make another part of this segment. For that, I'll click on this front view, zoom it out. And now once again, go to coordinates, click on this drop down, change it to view. Go to circle and make the first circle with radius of 15 unit, press enter. Press enter again, go to the same center and make another circle with radius of 27.5 unit and press enter again. All right, now go to this home view and we'll once again use press pull here. So go to press pull, click in between these two circles and now enter a height of 110 unit and press enter. In this case, the view has been changed and it has been changed to perspective as you can see here. So I'll change it to parallel, all right. So now I'll go to this left view and I'll just rotate it a little bit and I need to move this geometry a little bit. So once again, I'll go to coordinates, click on view and now select it and let's move it to somewhere else. In this case, I'll move it to this position and I'll remove this geometry. Now we need to make another geometry in this case and I'll make it 
at certain distance from this one so i'll click somewhere over here and now enter a radius of 15 unit press enter press enter again click on this same point enter a distance of or radius of 27.5 unit and press enter and once again repeat the process we'll just press pull this geometry but before that i'll change the view to parallel now go to press pull zoom into this area and use the press pull tool and give it a height of 110 unit all right so there we have it now we need to move this geometry properly on this object for that i'll go to this back view select it and move it here so i'll use this grip i'll move it close to this but now to move it precisely i'll once again go to this coordinates and i'll change it to view now select it once again click on this move tool and select this center point and move it on the center point of this object so here it is select it again click on this red axis of the gizmo and move it towards right side and this time i'll enter a distance of 55 unit and press enter so there we have it it's at the center point now select this green axis of the gizmo move it in that side and once again enter a distance of 55 and press enter now it's exactly at the center but we again need to move this a little bit from another direction so once again i'll go to home and now i'll select it i'll select this blue gizmo and i'll move it upwards and i'll move it to a distance of 38 unit and press enter all right so there we have it now we can remove this 2d geometry it's no longer required and i'll change the view to parallel once again and here it is the final geometry as per our requirement now we need to add few more details here but before adding them i'll join these two into single unit to join them go to this union tool select both of them and press enter and now they're joined into a single unit similarly go to this union tool select all of these geometries press enter now they are also joined into a single unit now i'll go to this right view so that this view becomes front and go to coordinates select this view and we'll make the pin now for making the pin i'll select the circle click at a point and make a circle with radius of 25 unit press enter press enter again click the same center point and make it with a radius of 15 unit and press enter now click on this home icon right click parallel and here we have the geometry now let's go to extrude select this shape the outer circle press enter and now enter a height of 10 unit and press enter now orbit this drawing a little bit so that the second circle is visible which is here and once again i'll select the extrude tool i'll select this circle which is inside and make this selection carefully so that only the circle is selected press enter and now this time i'll enter a height of minus 185 unit and press enter because we want to extrude this one in opposite direction that's why i've entered this minus sign now we need to add the final details and for that i'll go to this bottom view and here we are in the x y view so we can directly make the geometry so i'll go to this circle and i'll make the next part and in this case i'll enter a radius of 15 unit press enter press enter again and make another circle with radius of 25 unit and press enter all right now we need to extrude this so zoom into this area select the press pull click in between these two circles and enter a height of 10 unit and press enter so our drawing is almost prepared now we only need to move these objects in their respective positions so first i'll move this object and for that i'll just select it click on this move tool now click on this center point here and move it on this center point so here when you move your 
geometry you'll see two different center points the first and the second one just make sure that you are moving it on this center point all right there we have it now it's properly placed now we need to adjust the pin so here we have the pin let's select both of them and let's first join them so for joining them i'll select this union tool select them again press enter now they will behave as a single unit so let's select it select the move tool now click on this center point and make sure that this time it's placed on this center point here all right now we have it here now we need to move it a little bit as you can see that it is here so I'll select this geometry and this gizmo will become visible in this case select this red axis and move it in this direction just a little bit you can turn off this object snap to make this selection easier and I'll simply click on this point here now we need to move this ring so select it click on move tool and once again make sure this object snap is active now select this center point and move it on this center point of the pin and here we have it it's now also moved I'll select it and I'll erase it although our drawing is almost complete but still if you want you can add one more final detail and that's the final pin that will hold these two pins together so for that I'll go to this back view so that the top of this is visible and now go to coordinates and select this view option Now go to circle click anywhere just to make the circle and enter a radius of 2.5 unit and now go to extrude select the object press enter and enter a height of 60 unit and press enter again now you need to move this pin inside this geometry for that simply select it select the move tool select this endpoint and move it on this endpoint but this time just make sure that it passes through this ring completely like this all right it's not properly placed so I'll go to the top view and now I'll place it here so select it and using this axis of the move gizmo move it inside just like this and there we have it the pin is now placed in its position just like this although it's quite a random pin with no threads but you can add those details in your 2d drawing and there we have it we have the final universal coupling here as per our requirement.